how to wire an S plan. Um, I'm going to show you um, how to put an S plan together um, here on the desk from a wiring diagram and also using like certain controls. Um, and then I'm going to show you on site how it's done so you can see physically how the wires go together and hopefully from all that information you can piece together how the S plan is, is wired in. So the basic principle of an S plan, if you do need to know this, is that the boiler will heat water and it can be directed to either the hot water cylinder or your radiator system separately. And it's done so by two independent zone valves. Um, additionally to these zone valves, we would control them with a programmer um, and either a room thermostat or a cylinder thermostat, depending on whether we're trying to control the temperature of the hot water cylinder, that'd be a cylinder thermostat, or the temperature of your room, and that would be a room thermostat for your radiators. So from the wiring diagram, you can see you have a fuse spur here, which will have a three amp fuse, that's got a live neutral and earth, which is supplying the wiring center, or the junction box. And you can see this is the main junction box. Um, if you've taken the cover off a junction box before, you know, sometimes it's a huge headache. It looks like an, a spaghetti junction in there and an absolute nightmare if you can't do the tracing on them. So um, an important thing to remember, which simplifies it a little bit, is that you have your lives, your neutral and earths. Generally, if it's a Honeywell wiring center, like the one I have on site, um, they'll all be on the left, live, neutral, earth, and then once you get all your live neutral and earths in, um, you then only have a certain number of wires to link together. So it just simplifies. If you get the, that part of the job done first, you can then daisy chain the rest of the components together. And, and the components usually, they would start with your programmer. And that's here on this wiring diagram. Uh, you'd have a, a live and neutral into the programmer, as you can see on the diagram. And then your number four terminal would switch the central heating on and the number three terminal will switch the hot water on. So you can set a separate program, your hot water to come on at a certain period, your heating to come on at a certain period. And when that period kicks in, if it's the hot water, it sends a live signal down number three. If it's the heating, it sends a live signal down number four. Um, so let's say in this example, it is number four. We've put the live on the programmer, turn the heating on, it, the, the power goes down number four, it then goes to the next component in the daisy chain, which, it, which is the thermostat. This is a wireless thermostat, which I've used on this job. Um, so we wire in the receiver, but if you have a traditional mechanical room thermostat, like on this diagram, you will see that there's a live coming in, which comes from the programmer. They meet at the junction box here in terminal four, so you switch the programmer on, sends a live to terminal four. That then that live then goes down to the live on the room thermostat. And if you turn your room, room thermostat up, uh, there's, that puts a demand on for the heating and then it sends a live down the switch live from the room thermostat. And that goes up to terminal five. Um, and that terminal five then activates the brown wire on your central heating two port zone valve. The motor on the two port zone valve uh, moves and then it activates the live on the orange cable, the live out, to terminal 10 on your uh, junction box. And then terminal 10 then sends a switch live, which is this grey cable, back to the switch live on the boiler and that's what tells your boiler to fire up. So it'll fire up for the heating, providing it's the heating on this occasion that we've turned on. And the same process occurs to the hot water as well. So if we turn the hot water on, it sends live down number three, goes to terminal six on your junction box, sends live to C on the thermostat on this, this particular cylinder thermostat. That's the common, C stands for common. Then that when that's activated and there's a demand on it, sends live back down number one, which sends the live to the brown wire on the hot water zone valve the motor moves and then it activates, when the motor moves it opens the valve and activates the orange wire which then fires the switch live on the boiler. So I hope that simplifies it. I'm going to show you how that's done on site so you get an idea and between the two videos hopefully you can see how it's done. So wiring the S plan, um, we're going to have fuse spur here, um, cable's going to drop down 
into the junction box here where we're going to pick up all the rest of the controls. We've got zone valve to go into this junction box, cylinder thermostat and boiler. And then also we don't have a room start on this job. So I'm going to put in a wireless start. So we'll have a receiver for that wireless start somewhere on here. Um, so yeah, I'll show you how that's done. So this is the back of the programmer. This is a twin programmer because it controls hot water and heating. Um, you can see the wiring diagram shows we have live and neutral coming in on the left, neutral and then live. Um, and then we have hot water out on number three and number four is central heating out. So that's gonna send a live signal. If you switch your hot water on at the programmer, it's gonna send live down number three and if you put your hot heating on, it's gonna send a live signal down your number four channel. And on the back plate, it looks something like this. So we've got us live and neutral in, which we're picking up from the junction box. And then the black wire is the live to the central heating, and the gray wire is the live to the hot water. Right, so the cellar start, uh, this is the receiver, the cellar thermostat. You can see it's got a live and neutral supply, which are over here. Then the commons coming from, it's gonna be linked up to the uh, programmer. So when you switch the programmer on for the central heating, it will send a live signal to this common. And then when the thermostat is turned up or made active, there's a demand on, it will then send a live back down the NO, uh, which will trigger the zone valve. Right, so I thought I'd make a, a separate video on this cylinder thermostat. Um, it's an ESI, and the model number is ESCTDEB, um, and it has like a built-in Legionella device. Um, so what's unusual about this cylinder thermostat, usually you would just have two wires, uh, live coming in from the programmer, and then live coming out to the uh, zone valve. But you have a live and neutral supply to... Uh, this cylinder thermostat and as i've just read in the instructions it is it's got a built-in legionella device so it allows you to store the hot water between 25 and 65 degrees and if you do have it on a lower setting um, it has a built-in legionella device which will kick in at least once a week heat the cylinder to 60 degrees to kill off any bacteria and then shut down to the desired temperature. So that's like a, a super cool energy saving feature, um, which I've not seen before. So I've got to get live and neutral um, and uh, two switch lives to uh, a switch live in from the program and a switch live out to the zone valve. So it's gonna require a four core cable, um, this stuff. So if you're wiring up um, an Ecotec Plus or Ecotec Pro valent boiler um, to a 240 switch live for the controls, um, it's done like this. Obviously you've got your live neutral and earth into your green block and then you just have your switch live coming through to the RT here on the purple block, um, which is this one. And then they both obviously clip into the circuit board down here, the power in first. And then also, if you are using that 240 supply to switch the boiler on, um, you take the 24 volt red link wire out of this connector block here. Um, and then often you'll see that left in the bottom of the uh, reservoir trough there so um yeah that's that now it might be quite confusing it certainly was for me uh, when i first started wiring these s plans um, you've got five cables on your zone valves but what you've got to remember is to simplify it um four of those cables are going to do exactly the same thing you've got a live neutral and earth which is the gray this is where it gets confusing the gray cable on the zone valve is your live. Um, and then you have a neutral and earth. Um, and then your other cable is gonna be a switch live. Um, 
and that goes back to fire the boiler. So you've got four cables doing the same thing. Um, and then we're gonna have a brown cable. Now that's where the zone valves will differ. It'll either be going, the brown cable will either be connected to the switch live coming from the room thermostat if it's on the heating, or the switch live coming from the cylinder thermostat if it's on the hot water. Um, and that's the only difference. So the first thing I've started is by um, connecting all the neutrals. So these are the neutrals that go off to the uh, room thermostat or the receiver for the room thermostat, the boiler, and it's coming from the fuse spur and back to the programmer as well. Another tip is to have your cable to come from multiple directions on your junction box um, because as you can see the, there's quite a lot of cables connecting into each um, section. So. Um, I've got four neutrals in here, and then I've got the other neutrals to connect at the bottom, which will be for the two zone valves and the cylinder thermostat. Um, so yeah, what I'm gonna do now is bung bundle all the earths together, and then the lives together, and then you will see that there's, there's just a few wires left, which will helpfully simplify it. What we've got here we've got all our lives going into the live terminal on the left um live goes off to the programmer the receiver on the cylinder stat uh, it comes from the fuse spur and off to the boiler as well so there's four lives into the top the three lives at the bottom are the two gray wires remember the the live supply to the um two port zone valves are gray which can be confusing and then there's a live supply also on this one to the cylinder thermostat. All the blues, very simple together, all the neutrals, all the earths together, they're all the earths. So you've eliminated quite a lot of the cables there. Um, it's just a matter of now marrying up the switch lives, um, which I will show you. So the last wires to be connected are, so we've got the live from the program of the black wire, which then goes off to the room thermostat. The room thermostat comes down on this earth cable, which is sleeved, triggers the zone valve, which is the brown wire to the central heating. And then the zone valve opens, sends the orange, the power up the orange cable back to the switch live on the boiler. And the same happens for the cylinder start. So the live comes down on the gray cable from the programmer, goes back down the black cable to the cylinder start. When the cylinder start is active, it sends the live up the gray cable, activates the brown cable on the zone valve, which then opens the switch live on the orange cable and then fires the boiler on the black. <laughs> 